This video has been sponsored by 80 Set Sports Mags. More about the magazine in the middle of the video. Guys, welcome back to 80 Set Sports. Thank you for stopping by for another video. And welcome back to another The Scout video, which is basically a new series that I have started in which we discuss possible superstars in Europe or in other countries who could possibly join uh, India. Now I've already done the Gareth Bale one last time to we can to, to talk about what would happen if possibly can Gareth Bale join uh, an Indian Super League club and this time again I'm come with another big signing another big player okay in uh, what is that called in football and that is Dani Alves. Now for those who don't know Dani Alves is by far one of the according to me one of the best right backs of all time okay he i think he's a poly the player with the most trophies also i'm not sure how many trophies he has won but he has won quite a lot of trophies for those who are asking how many and i think it is time with his contract uh, getting over at Barcelona and Barcelona themselves not interested to uh, increase his uh, contract extension and the fact that he's uh, not going to go back to Brazil uh, because of the issue that happened in Brazil if you didn't know Alex tell that in the future far in the far ahead of the video but can he possibly end up at Indian Super League we'll talk about it in this video but guys if you're new to the channel and you like this type of theory videos in which we try and discuss is there a possibility of particular superstars uh, joining the Indian Super League do hit the subscribe button guys and tell me who which player should I do next who you think is one star player whose contract is ending most likely uh, in this summer and who could end up in the Indian Super League tell me in the chats down below if you are lucky enough I'll make a video on it now Dani Alves is one of the top right backs in Indian I mean not Indian in uh, world football uh, one of the top most decorated Barcelona players also uh, he has played like almost his entire career with Barcelona now after his uh, you know all football going on after the Barcelona state he went to PSG after that he went to San Paolo according to me yeah, San Paolo and there's an issue that happened there now for those guys who don't know what had happened with him there's San Paolo so basically when he came back to San Paolo San Paolo fans were like overjoyed they were overwhelmed to see you know such a talented or uh, such a you know um uh, great player like one of the greats you know like a Mikey signing you can say one of the top players coming back to their club so he, they were like very excited and with that excitement the expectation towards Dani Alves went extremely high like players uh, the fans literally were expecting him to even though being at as a right back to be like assisting almost every match throwing a goal almost every match because uh, Dani Alves is that type of a player who has won the most trophies right one of the most decorated players one of the top right backs so when he goes from a big league to come to a not saying that the Brazilian league is bad but for comparatively coming to uh, from the European top leagues to uh, the lower league that is a uh, Brazilian league uh, they expected uh, more from him and did he deliver well uh, of course he never crossed more than uh, three goals uh, th let's see he never crossed more than three goals we can say and never crossed more than three goals in a single tournament or maybe you can say he never crossed the 10 goal mark neither with the assist uh, he did cross exceptionally well and he was regularly getting injured which also was you know a huge bad point in uh, his uh, so, you know so Sao Paulo fans uh, were very you know sad they were like you know they felt that uh, Dani Alves was not playing as expected expectations or he was purposely you know they felt I'm not saying Dani Alves was doing that but they felt that Dani Alves was not giving enough for the club and after a lot of booing a lot of after a lot of you know bad things that happened with them uh, it ended up as you expected Dani Alves terminated his contract with Sao Paulo and was a free agent for quite some time but after that as you know Barcelona's issue that happened so he decided to leave everything behind and come back to Barcelona where he said that he will help in uh, rebuilding Barcelona with Xavi, his ex-teammate. 
सो दैट इज दैट कॉल सो दैन ही ही हेल्प आई गेम फोर्टीन लेट्स हम ने गेम्स प्ले ही प्ले फोर्टीन गेम्स इन द ला लीगा टू इन द कॉपा टेल रे एंड वन इन द सुपर कॉपा स्कोरिंग अ गोल एंड फोर एसिस्ट ओवर ऑल लास्ट सीजन फॉर बार्सोलॉना ना दिस शुड बी वेरी गुड क्यू आर कंसिडरिंग इज अ थर्टी नाइन ईयर्स ओल्ड प्लेयर मोस्टली आई हैज नॉट प्लेड क्वाइट अ लॉट ऑफ फुटबॉल फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम बिकॉज ही वॉज आउट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वॉज इन विद एनी क्लब एंड दैट्स वन थिंग एंड वी शुड ऑल्सो रिमेंबर दैट टू शो हीज लव टू वॉच द क्लब टू शो हम अच्छी लव बार्सोलॉना एज अ क्लब ही वेंट ऑन विदाउट ही वेंट एट द लोएस्ट सैलरी पॉसिबल दैट ला लीगाज अलाउिंग प्लेयर्स टू हैव ओके सो ही वॉज लिटरली ऑन द लोएस्ट सैलरी जस्ट टू शो दैट हम अच्छी वॉन्टेड बार्सोलॉना टू कम बैक देन दे आर मेनी अदर इमेज विच आई मे नॉट बी एबल टू शो यू टू कॉपी आई थिंग्स बट इज वन इमेज वे वेन आफ्टर ट्रेनिंग वाइल कमिंग बैक इन टू इट ही डिन यू नो गो अबाउ द बार्सलोना क्रेस्ट एज यू नो द बार्सलोना क्रेस्ट इज ऑन द ग्राउंड इन द साइड लाइन स्पेशली वेन यू एंट्रिंग सो ही मूव इन द साइड दैट मच रिस्पेक्ट एंड लव ही हैज फॉर द क्लब डू यू लाइक रीडिंग स्पोर्ट्स मैगजीन्स एंड आई इंटरेस्टेड इन राइटिंग आर्टिकल्स और है डू यू वॉन्ट टू गेट योर बिजनेस और योर फैन अकाउंट टू बी फीचर्ड ऑन आर मैगजीन सो गाइज आई एम हैप्पी टू टेल यूर दैट एट इज एट स्पोर्ट्स मैगजीन हैज ऑफिशियली बी लॉन्च इट इज अ क्वार्टरली मीन्स इट कम्स वंस एवरी थ्री मंथ्स मैगजीन एंड वी हैव वेरियस अमेजिंग आर्टिकल्स रिटर्न बाय अमेजिंग पीपल ऑन इट सो इफ यू लव टू रीड दो थिंग्स गो चेक इट आउट वी हैव ऑल्सो सम डिफरेंट टाइप्स of a uh, special sections which include uh, a special article section written by me itself this time it is about the oldest clubs in india do you know which is the oldest club in india it's not atk mohun bagan also there are other sections where we talk about how india has performed in recent major sporting events and the future major sporting events that india will be taking on into plus a small briefing about atz tv's report means what events we have done personally and everything so guys go and check it out it's a lot of effort was put into making it and it'll be amazing if you all can go and check it out and tell me your thoughts on how you feel about it in the comments back to the video but how barcelona end up treating him well as you expected they kicked him out okay because i don't know sergio roberto is also given a contract extension so i don't know how it's going to work out for barcelona but i think in the end of the day we all know that uh, whatever is going to happen at barcelona is going to happen so zavi said no to him and now danny alves is again a free agent now he has not decided yet to hang his boots and this is the time when i believe indian super league clubs should go and get him now listen now see first of all his contract is over right so that doesn't matter anymore so he is valued at 8.3 crore rupees for those who are asking 8.3 crore rupees which will somewhat uh, 83 million right 83 crore rupees which is will make him somewhat the most uh, the highest value market value player to join the indian super league as of now and uh, at 39 years of age of course that's a quite a high thing and many of you may say but aurelio why will some uh, clubs pay for daniel ways when for the especially the right back position when you know mostly indian players are given the full back position well if you all didn't know this and if you all can go to transfer market and check it out uh, daniel ways ha- has quite a lot of uh, positions let me just see so mostly he has played over 500 games as right back then uh, right midfielder central midfielder attacking midfielder defensive midfielder right winger left midfielder left back center back and even second striker he has played a game as a second striker that itself is quite strange so if we want him to be in the midfield position this is one of the top players you would be interested in any club now of course he as i said he loves the fans he loves the support so if any club which has a huge support kerala blasters sc east bengal bengaluru uh, ATK Mohun Bagan although i don't feel ATK Mohun Bagan will be interested in another player like that but that's what i want to say there are many what is that called he's very much to the fans money is not an issue for him he has already played he's 39 years old has played god knows how many seasons of football but definitely must have crossed 700 matches of football so he really doesn't care about uh, what i say he really doesn't care about you know the money at the moment as you saw he's him with barcelona yes a decent salary will 
be required for him or if you make him a marquee signing then i don't know what's the new rules that are for that but overall i would say if any club wants to be take dani alves this is your moment to shine this is the time you should take him guys tell me what do you feel should the indian clubs try and take dani alves and uh, once again i think my position here in this video has been like quite shaky so i'm sorry for that uh, i'm you know i've got a new uh, what's this called tripod so yeah and also a uh, small update uh, we'll be starting a new live stream uh, on saturday which is basically going to be called uh, the saturday uh, transfer news where i'll be doing a live stream where we'll talk about a transfer news every saturday i'll tell inform you all the other time on the company post so stay tuned for that also podcast videos will come up almost every week now once every week so check those out also too guys once again thank you so much for watching this video do like share subscribe see you all in more videos coming soon and more updates on the channel till then goodbye take care stay safe